Yeah, we only got four. Don't worry, I didn't go overboard. These are <laughs> the, uh, back a few years now, the, the 2021, let's see, can we take a look at that? Yeah, there we go. 2021, uh, 10 of Ancient Battles. Yeah, these are super cheap right now. I got each of these for about $9. So that gives you an idea of how cheap they are. Yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, I guess, do we want to do all of them in one video or do we want to break it up? Uh, I kind of want to break it up because I know people tend to just kind of tune out after like five minutes. So let's only do two and then I'll save these other two for another video. So we'll space them out a bit, but yeah, we're going to do two of these. It's three packs in each tin. And there aren't, uh, I went and I looked, and there aren't any really super expensive cards uh, in this set. I think the most expensive one is Zeus. He's like, uh, like what, $13, $14? And then you've got the Crosshat Designator, which uh, is not as much, but it still has some value. I think after that, uh, what is it, Triple Tactics or something like that? But yeah. So nothing super, super expensive in these, but then again, like I said, I paid a whole $9 each for these. Each of these tins, you do get three packs. So let's go ahead and crack these packs and see if we can uh, happen to, to get a Zeus. I'd really like to get a Zeus here and make this, uh, make this opening worth it. So again, six packs. These are bigger packs, as you can see. So no time wasting. Let's zoom in and let's roll. All right, come on, Zeus. Zeus, I believe, is the uh, one of the prismatic rares, or prismatic secret rares, or whatever. There we go. We say we got ourselves a lantern shark, a broker, the gigabyte, uh, tie strike, puppy, Uvaloop, infernal arms, joyuse, magical hound, uh, machina metal cruncher for the secret, dogmatica nexus for the ultra, and the fallen of albaz for the second ultra. We got ourselves some tidying, and then we got some more commons here. Ponies, Ignister, Arc Fiend, Shadow, and Artisan. So, nothing too amazing of that pack. Let's kind of move these up here and get my little stacks going. Okay, so nothing magical in that one. We'll keep going now. And yeah, like I was saying, I actually found these dirt cheap. Just dirt cheap. It took them a little bit to get here, which uh, isn't necessarily bad. Because if I can get them that cheap, I don't mind waiting like a week and a half to get them. All right, so we got ourselves a uh, Durandal uh, Relief. Fusion Deployment for the Secret. Uh, Adamancipator, Arisen Leonite. That's actually some nice artwork. I like that. That's for your Ultra. And then we get the, the Ash Dragon for another Ultra. Then we got the uh, Jaja for the Rare. Got her some Fire, Leafish, Mr. Resonators, Dark Lords, and a Frolic. So nothing too crazy right now. The one reason why I was okay with buying these is because I took a look at the averages per pack as far as average value, and they were actually pretty good. So I should at the very least get my money back on these. Plus I'm able to produce a video with it, so why not? There's our Guts, there's our Armory Call. Uh, Melfi of the Forest. I love the foiling on that. It looks kind of, uh, kind of crazy. What we got here? We got uh, Ecclesia, the Virtuous, for the Prismatic. Oops, that goes here. We got uh, Trias. And we got a new Deer, the Servant. And we got Long Long for our rare. Good old Miss Jenny. Deep Sea, Magical Night, Nation, and Junk Sleep. So nothing crazy there. Yeah, so if I can get at least $3 worth of cards out of each pack, then we're all good, right? Broker, Gigabyte, Dragon, Takedown, Brave, Lightcraft, and oh, we got the Arc Rebellion XYZ Dragon. Pretty nice. Uh, Heavy Ford. Uh, hey, look at that. Raviel, Lord of Phantasms. With a nice little reprint there. It actually looks pretty good there in the uh, Secret Rare. Uh, Achichi. <laughs> Is that Achichi? At Ignister? Okay. And aw, Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. I love the art on that. It's very pretty. Really nice looking card. Then we got the Chuche. <laughs> we got Pony, Mr. Morpher Hires, Contract, uh, Rose Girl, and Nation. Wow, so four packs in, and uh, no, uh, none of the bigger hits. Of course, like I said, there's only like maybe like there's really only one big hit, I guess you could say. And then we've got a couple of like mid-range hits, and then a few uh, lighter hits there. Uh, wow, another Joyce. Okay, another Armory Call. 
Gaia the Magical Knight of Dragons for the secret. We got the Shurig, the Ominous Omen. And then another Fallen of Albaz. And we're gonna duplication here. Alright, we got the Union Driver. And fish. More Jenny, Arceus Monsters, and Fenny. Yeah, so nothing really standing out here so far. Very average opening, it feels like. Maybe the other two tins that I open will be a little bit better. Uh, Bozo, Uva Loop. That Uva Loop, interestingly enough, actually sells really, really well. I sold those, no joke, I had like maybe 10 of these. Sold them all within about three days. <laughs> hey, look at we got another Melfi of the Forest. Got a Thunder Hand <laughs> and a Cross Sheep for the Link monster. Yeah. Oh, look at that, there we go. We got ourselves a Cross Out Designator for the Ultra Rare, very nice. Again, he's not worth what he was. Back when he first came out, he was uh, fairly expensive. Uh, but now he's he's actually pretty cheap. I think I saw it on TCG Player for about four dollars or so. So not super expensive. Then we got the Gear Suit, the Orcus Mech Knight, Assault, and uh, just a bunch of other random comments here. Jack of Balan. Okay, so we did get one minor hit or one moderate hit, I guess. Uh, that was our Cross Hat Designator. Like I said, he's about three or four dollars now. So not super super expensive, but. Better than nothing. Like I said, as long as I get my money back on these packs, I'm actually fine with it. Anyway, so this stuff will be going up on the store, so if you want this cross out designator or any of the other cards here that we picked up, the link will be down in the description to my card store. Head on over there. And I guess we're gonna go ahead and uh, immediately get started with part number two of that video. So thanks for watching this one. This was part one. Part two should be coming here again pretty soon. Uh, like, subscribe, other YouTuber stuff, and we'll see you next time.